Alright, welcome everyone to Operation Bone Star. We are going to sabotage an alien facility. The Doom Timer is on. We definitely need to kill everyone here. We have seen 13 enemies. Um, one of uh, which is an unknown enemy, so probably an Andromedon. But I'm pretty positive that we could can pull it off. If it's an Andromedon, it would be nice because the Andromedon suit can be hacked rather easy and offers us a nice little tank uh, that could take a couple of shots. It's also great for cover removal, if I'm thinking about it. And by thinking about it again, is it possible to... Is it possible to um, to mind control one of the rulers? Hmm. If you mind control one of these rulers, that would be pretty badass. Imagine if you have like the berserker with the seventy-five hit points, and he's he's um, charging into the enemies. Pretty badass. Moving out. Good. We do have high ground here. And not the worst high ground ever. There's another high ground here, and the facility obviously is here. So let's start very uh, calm and uh, organized. We're just taking like high ground positions it. here. Again, if it's 13 enemies, we should be fine. I'm always surprised why it says very hard when there are only 13 enemies. Um, I should think about it. If there are only 10 enemies on a mission and it says very hard, then things are not clicking together. There needs, There is a catch. So that could already indicate if there is um, a ruler or not. And yeah, there's the Andromedon. I told you guys. Only. Oh, Saiken is an extended magazine best, better than stock on high level specialist at this time. Yeah, but we don't have. Um, oh no, yeah, we we have one. Well, it depends. The advanced stock dealt a lot of extra nice damage, so that was fine so far. And to be blatantly honest, I'm also saving some of the upgrades to have a reserve gear. Because what I want to do very soon is to get away from the primary gear. The Unix, so to speak, that we don't want to lose. Because I want to save them for, for later in the game. Come on, move up, cluster a little bit more, so the froze, uh, freeze grenade hits all of you. So if we're frost bombing them, no. Not close enough, but if, if they are getting a little bit closer, we're definitely going to frost bomb them. Cluster up, guys. Yeah, there we go. 
So much for clustering up. Have we just killed it? I think we just killed it, so it's now officially only the suit. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? Shit, he's going to uh, panic now because he was shaken. Yeah, unnecessary. Okay, probably Mimic Beacon time. Probably Mimic Beacon time. We do have two Mimic Beacons. We can hack the suit. A protocol is going to give us an additional Overwatch. Which Smorcher here is going to take. And then I would want to try to hack the suit. Either shutting it down or even taking it over. In this case, shutting it down. Good, we'll take care about it next turn. So, we do have uh, poisonous ammunition. So the free extra shot here is going to poison him. Good. We're going to use the Mimic Beacon with her because she's dealing the least amount of damage. And we could chain shot. The question is where's the best position. If we chain shot on him, there's a high chance that we're killing him. So might as well reload, chain shot takes two shots and then we still have the ammunition for, for the threat assessment. Come on. Dodged, not good. So much for 68%. He's, he actually has a pretty good chance of hitting. <laughs> Pounds his chest like a like an ape. Oh, nice! He's tanking them all. Good job. I want to test the new abilities, to be honest, since we're in such a nice little clutched position here. Let's start with Serial. 
Again, we're frost grenading most of them anyways. But maybe we can save the frost grenade for later. If we hit this guy, he's going to be dead. Of course, we're not. But like I said, we are frost grenading anyways, most probably. Mutant down, that's one kill. Edwin officer down, that's two kills. Yeah, fuck you. Three kills. And just out of interest, is this freezing now? Okay, but he can only use that once, and now it's he's frozen, and that's even a free action. Wow, cool. Need a resupply. Chain CC'd. <laughs> that guy didn't even... Uh, that guy didn't even uh, react. He was just con constantly CC'd. Overwatch. Yeah, Nitro, you're a beast. Advanced Outloader, that's great. Agility is also not bad. A couple of nice items. Reload. Ready to engage. I'm on it. Rock and roll. Let's rock. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have reloaded her. She has she had an outloader, but yeah, whatever. That's good, good. And the demigod is back in business. So we lost one medical charge. Not cool, but happens. We lost uh, the chance of getting rid of his shaken. Also not very cool. Should have been better. He's going to go to the sick bay again afterwards, but that's okay. We killed two packs, so that's four down. Nine more to go. We're changing the high ground position because uh, the starting position isn't really promising anymore. Let's first and foremost double check. Oh really? No grappling targets available? Let's start to check what's up here. Good. Very good. Move up, move up. Going hard. If you say so. Come get some. Good. Got a solid position up here. Let's continue on Ready? progress this way. Our main idea now is to spread out a little bit. Oh shit. Uh. This variation of the Archon 
must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things escaped from the lab. Eight protocol onto small chip because he's the one who can who can shred him. So now he's going to move. And of course we're going to miss. Despite of the high ground. Cool. Can't even can't even um, really dodge that one. Might as well just move down here. Negative damage. Missed. Okay. Grappling is a free action. I'll take the high road. And we'll use our ch frozen one. You're shitting me. Okay, free actions do not take any reaction. Negative damage. Missed. Okay. Grappling is a free action. I'll take the high road. Throw X is a free action. Stun him. Stun him. And he has 25 defense. That's really a lot. Plus, we need to get rid of his armor. What? Oh, shit. Serpent suit panic? Perfect. Okay, so he's now panicking and we're just facing one mutant. Good, so freezing uh, freezing bomb hasn't really worked out, but we could maybe chain shot him and if we're lucky we're hitting and get rid of his um, of his uh, armor. Great, we shredded him completely and dealt a lot of damage, that was a good turn. We don't want to heal at the moment, mainly because I feel that he'll deal more damage in a turn than we can just heal. So I might as well just take the shots. Burning would have been great. Blade Storm. Nice little extra damage, but dodged unfortunately. I wish we could kill someone with Shadowfall and just get away. Let's hopefully deal as much damage as we can. 12 damage is good. Hair trigger free action. Thank you. Would have been another crit, but 7 is okay. Oh, 
Okay, wow. That one... That one is a bad, bad motherfucker. Okay, we do have one more action. Honestly, we're not going to take it. We're just gonna get away from here. I don't know if the rift is dealing damage, so never mind. Don't want to lose the sniper. Let's just put her here for now. No need to ask twice. Good, so we call it even for now. The grab ability was hardcore. But we had a couple of good shots, which helped us out a lot. Like the chain shot, for instance, which was uh, afterwards, um, which was afterwards, pretty pretty good. Um, it helped us to to get rid of uh, of that viper bitch, uh, that archon bitch. Um, seven armor was massive. Couldn't even get through it. But now, since it's shredded for the next time, I think we're going to have an easier time. Chain shot really paid out. I like the ability. Super good. Specifically if you're hitting. If you're not hitting, it's so la la. But if you're hitting, it's great. Sniper seems to be a little bit out of luck. I was somehow expecting way more damage out of uh, that guy. When he started, I was like, shit, now we're going to die. But apparently we're not. And the free actions really helped out. Alright, Overwatch. Cool! He's burning. And that's Guardian. <laughs> Shitting me? You're trying to to mess with the Viper King? Well, we should be immune against poison, by the way. It helped that he wasted a few turns moving. Yeah, true. Well, that really helped. Okay, we do have a stock, right? Right. 50%. Let's move over here. And kill this guy. Good job. So, Demigod receives the healing. The problem with all of our nice small actions is it just doesn't uh, work out when you fight the rulers because every action just triggers them over and over and over again.
Good. She's going to move here once we're advancing. Good, we know that the next ruler is going to be a pretty tough one. How many rulers are there? Like four or are we talking about six? Probably six because the game assumes you have six guys. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Should have waited with him because we can always use his um, his cereal. Hard target, minimal damage. Oh, wait a second. We could maybe haywire the shit. Towers are... Pretty nice targets if you can haywire them. Nope. It doesn't work out, so we need to kill it. Good. Demigod, rinse and repeat, please. Viper, Berserker, and Archon, that's all. Only three? No, no, no. There must be more than three. All right, executed. Perfect. There must be more than three of them. Four would be perfect. By the way, perfect timing um, of them to come to this mission here, because this mission has no timing restriction. Let's shortly focus though how many we've killed. We had killed like two and another two, that's four, and another two, that's six. Six? Can it be six? Yeah, probably. We are running low on resources though because I think we're out of healing and out of a couple of other things Good, there's one more pack. Let's overwatch trap them. Come on, overwatch trap. 
Apparently doesn't work out. On the move. I'm trusting you here. We've got Advent here. Interesting. We got a freezing grenade. Uh, it's probably the best option to get rid of three of them, and then there's only like the shield bearer. Whom we could try to kill. Hmm. I don't think that we could aid protocol and overwatch trap them really well. That's a 50-50. That's okay, better than nothing. Again, didn't really work out super well. Let's take another 50-50. We're out of luck. Let's take the frost bomb. Good. This guy is starting to burn. So we're dealing some damage. I guess he's probably going to die. Spoiler, Papa Faceless Tigan. That would be awesome. A twist in the storyline. Eight protocol on small chi here. And then we're trying to hack. It would be nice to have him on our side. Fifty fifty, come on. Why is it always unsuccessful? Damn. Would have been awesome to have him and then just remove all of the cover. Good, let's get rid of the mech. Good, and he still has one more shot with uh, Overwatch. Very low chances here. We could go run gun over there and kill one of them. But probably in, in terms of retaliation we would we would be hit quite hard. Seventy percent and two low percent shots. Nevertheless, since we don't have any real other options. Let's go for the 70%. If we kill him, we get an extra shot. Yeah, great. That's all I was asking for. 35%. Come on, buddy. 
We're removing our own cover. That's not clever. Untouchable, baby. Lance has got a lance. Nice one. That should teach you to come over here. And stunned. Owned, bitch. Owned. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, became Gene from X-Men flying in the air like a professional <laughs> see that's why I like the game so much there's always shit that that, I've have, uh, that I haven't seen in over 500 hours of gameplay and that should mean something because I've seen a lot of weird stuff going on. Back online. We're clean to go. Yeah, how do you feel without your cover? Not good, right? Right. Eighty percent missed. Can't believe that this is happening. Good. It's now repositioning, and there is the Overwatch. Nice. Good little burning. Another Overwatch shot, maybe? Ah, not. Yeah, we're in full cover. That was unclever, by the way. You should have stayed back there. Nice little shredding. And now it's time to kill this guy. <sighs> the fly lances. They finally invented them. Hey, very long night. It is going great. It's mainly going great because we are having a blast time. I guess the chat will tell you... We're definitely having a good time here. Like, this is so much fun. And that was the last pack prior to the backup. Can we grab ourselves? No, we can't grab there. I guess that will be okay. So might as well go over here. And any grapple option? No, 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 no. Unfortunately not. Do you manage to uh, tune your strategy for four soldiers? I think yes. So um, we skilled a little bit different. We also got more lucky when it comes to RNG at certain stages and there is a good chance this time that, uh, that this is going to be the run. We already got our first colonel whom we're not bringing on to the mission. I'm uh, trying to build up a reserve equipment so we're not risking to lose the really good equipment. Yeah, what else? Um, mainly the different skills helped us a lot. I was underestimating Blade Master. Worked out pretty well. We have had uh, a reasonable good success with um, 
with uh, the AW uh, with the with the AWC. So we're we're now having some really 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 good uh, soldiers. Like incredibly good because of the AWC and its procs. Yeah, so that is the main difference between the last time. Heading out. Also, we didn't fuck it up. We haven't lost a single mission. I wasn't like pushing anything to the limits. We were just playing it by the book. Nice little crit, by the way. Good job, buddy. Menace one five. We're not picking up any additional contacts near the AO. Proceed to plant the export charges. And Did you manage to tune the strategy? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We answered that one. Good, so let's move in. Everyone else moves here because that's where we're going to evac. On your order. Got it. What about the rulers? Um, yeah, we killed the, sn uh, the snake king, apparently. Uh, that's the suit that you're seeing here. When you kill a ruler, you can make one suit out of his hide. Pretty cool. So we have this uh, suit with uh, extra dodge, a frost breath, and a grappling hook plus extra hit points so yeah I, I really like it you shitting me so the only possible hostile contact is a tower up there Yeah, and we killed the Berserker King, that was the second uh, big achievement. Although the fi uh, fight was... Um, the fight was pretty close. And now we uh, encountered the Archon Queen or King. It's out of interest. Let's overwatch here. No, apparently only a tower. Menace one five. X four charges are armed. Get to the evac point. We don't have any time to spare. If you see so. Good. Evac confirmed. I'm out of here. Heading home. Heading Let's home. get out here. Menace one five. Status confirmed. X four charges detonated. Queen Archon is left, yeah, the, and the Archon was pretty hardcore. We just fought it, um, and we we agreed on a tie. It had seven armor, and we shredded it completely. But it dealt some damage in return. And people were trying to tell me that there are only three rulers. Which hopefully is not the case. Because I, I really want to have more than three rulers.
All right, here we go. Here we go. Would be cool if the Queen Archon suit makes you fly. That would be extremely cool. Our sniper would fly high up in the air. But unfortunately, so many things can shoot us out of the air. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded and wounded. Great. <coughs> Just great. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Good. We need to put another engineer into the AWC because, yeah, we're having patience again. But luckily, it's only 10 and 11 days. Unluckily, uh, it's two of our main team, so the two majors. And here, look at that, by the way. There's the Andromedon. Pretty cool. And here's this, here's apparently the Viper suit that we now have. Andromedon. It's just missing avatars. Uh, probably here. No, chrysalids will probably here. Chry chrysalids here. Then, I don't know. Maybe the sectopods here? I don't know. And the avatars, maybe here? Alien Alloys, thank you. Good, so first things first, if we make contact to Western Europe, that's only 80 intel. So we're definitely going to do that because there is another facility which will help us to survive. It's only one bleep, but that's fine. There's a supply raid. Officer, shield bearer, mutant, sector it, archon, advanced trooper. And supply raids are normally difficult. So since it's only 13 enemies, I don't know. Um, maybe it's round two with our little archon overlord. You get an achievement if you kill all of them, okay? Our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Good, so just out of interest, we're taking Falcon here because we need a strong sharpshooter and our other sharpshooter is also wounded, so no question. We can take Ghost, yeah. Smallcher is our, our main uh, Grenadier. And Bones, aka Skywalker Jr. Skywalker Jr. is gonna be um, the specialist. Okay, it's called very difficult, and it's only 13, so I'm almost 100% sure that we're fighting against this bitch again. Falcon has a very, very high probability to hit. Kalen rounds, yes please. Mimic Beacon. Make weapons available and make utility items available. 
good. We'll give her, her the good gun. And we'll also give her... Wait a second. Where is the eggs? Wonderful. We'll give her the eggs because uh, the eggs will deal additional damage. Also, we'll give her plus dodge. Are we going to give her the suit? Yeah, let's... Let's not be greedy here until all of the until all of the rulers are down. We're taking we're not taking any chances here. Okay, Falcon. Venom rounds, yes please. Mimic beacon, yes please. He has such a high aim that he's going to hit this bitch during the whole time. I was pretty disappointed that the frost grenade only uh, uh, worked for one round. Saiken, can you upload these to YouTube, please? I don't have enough time to uh, in one sitting for more than two missions. Yeah, sure. I will... Um, Next Monday, probably, I will start uploading them on YouTube. No problem at all. I made an Assault Blade Master and maxed out his dodge. Most fun soldier I've ever made. Yeah, with the suit together, I think that is a viable strategy. We're talking about more than 50% dodge, but... Uh, in the first place, you're usually you don't want to be hit in the first place. First of all, by the way, young Skywalker, we need to recall your character, Anakin. Secondly, um, since he's the step in. We don't have any PCSs for him at the moment. Let's just give him this one. Better than not having a PCS. And in terms of loadout, make weapons available. Let's give him the modified gun, nano medikit, and dragon rounds. That worked out pretty well so far. So with the dragon rounds, and the uh, the viper rounds, we are actually pretty pretty good, uh, pretty pretty set. Very difficult. Yeah, here we go. That's good. She's good. He's good. He's also good. Have I upgraded the bolt caster yet? No, we haven't. I am not 100% convinced about the gun. But I will give it a try a little bit later. 